Guys, I just realized, like, sitting here, like, about to record this, that technically this is my first Halloween video of the year, so I have such a good schedule planned if I go through with filming all of it. Hey guys, it's Coot Steph, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're just gonna, like, kinda be chill and talk about the IT movie and mainly its sequel. I saw this movie last Thursday, so like the first day it was like released, and I thought it was amazing. Now, I love horror movies, so like it wasn't too scary to me, but it was really good otherwise. The suspense was good, like I didn't know what was gonna happen, cause I never, I haven't seen the original or read the book, that's bad of me, I will. I will eventually, definitely. I'm so busy all the time, I've been pushing it off, so we'll get to it eventually. I wanted to read the book over the summer, but okay, besides that, let's get on with, like, what the sequel is gonna be about. So if you haven't seen the movie, like, obviously, why are you here? At the end of the movie, like, you saw that it said IT, chapter one. So obviously there's gonna be a chapter two because there was a second movie and then, like, the book is a thousand pages. That's kind of intimidating, but I'm gonna do it. Even one of my good friends that, like, doesn't read Reddit, so that gives me such a good reason to read it, because that means it must be really good. So the first one ends, like, in the 80s still, and all the kids split up. We know this. Everybody kind of goes their separate ways, and this new movie is gonna be set 27 years later, because, like, in the movie it said, it's gonna happen every 27 years. Now, okay, get this, now it's gonna be set in 2016. So it's still not the present present, but it's like the present. All the kids are gonna be adults. That trips me up. I love those kids, you know? It, like, what a good cast. I don't wanna see them go, but I read in an article that they are gonna be coming back, which is the good thing. Like, other, besides the original, they're going to be doing a lot of flashbacks back into their childhood just so that we could get more of these young characters because that really made the movie for me. I don't know about you guys, but I considered this movie, like, in a way the Goonies because they were, like, all riding around on their bikes and, like, they were kids, like, solving this thing on their own and they were funny and, like, all this stuff. So I considered it, like, the Goonies but, like, rated R... With the language and it was scarier and it was about a clown instead of pirates <laughs> yeah that was my comparison and i love the goonies and so i love this movie and i love how it's set in the 80s like i love that part too apparently the original was set in the 50s i think like i said it's gonna be set in 2016 and so the people are gonna be adults and they're gonna realize I believe that it's 27 years later and the clown is back and they have to defeat it again. Now the character Mike, the picture here if you forgot who he was, I don't have the names memorized either so it's cool, that's why I put a picture there. But Mike is going to be the only one left in the town. He's going to become a librarian so he still has all of like the articles and stuff about all of these situations that like involve like the missing children and he's it's ultimately going to be 27 years later and he's going to be like calling all the boys back and beverly all back to defeat him again and like finally put a stop to this because even though we thought that they did it in the first place he's going to call them all back and i believe i saw that not all of them are going to be coming back and i'm sad and i'm not going to spoil it because i got spoiled it also, another cool element, like, I didn't even think of this part, but when I was reading about, like, the sequel and stuff, like, they were talking about how it's going to be set in 2016, so that means that they're going to have to use technology and, like, everything is going to be so modernized that it's going to be really weird, and I'm, like, really excited about it. It's going to be weird. Especially, I guess, if you read the book and have seen the original, like, like, I'm shook about like it being modern so like I can't imagine I think it's gonna be really good I believe they're gonna top what the first one did like make it scarier if they make it scarier it's gonna be perfect because 
I was like not really scared. Like jump scares, ugh, like don't even trip me. That'll make it for me. Anything else to talk about? I know this is kind of like a short, like chill video just talking about it, but that's because I didn't have a video planned and literally just sitting here on Friday uh, filming and gonna edit and upload it. But yeah, I'm gonna get back on top of things. No, I'm not. I'm honestly not. The good part is about the sequel is that like they were talking about filming it really, 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 really soon because the kids are growing up. They gotta film that quick because they gonna hit puberty, etc. Anyway, so let me know in the comments below like what you're excited about in the sequel and like even if you've seen the original, you cannot like just go into this thinking it's gonna be the same thing because it's 2016 now. It's gonna be totally different. The effects are gonna be better. I mean, CGI who? Like, it's gonna be so good. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and comment on this video. And all of my social medias are below in the description. If you're too lazy to do that, then follow me everywhere at CootStef, the same way it's spelled here. And go buy my merch. First link in the dang description. Buy my merch. I can't say it enough. Also sign up for the uh, Redbubble mailing list. It's not a sponsorship, but it's going to give you coupon codes so it'll be cheaper because I know it can be expensive. So go check out the site down below. And if you're not already a cootie, be sure to subscribe to be a part of the Coot Clan. And I will see you guys in next Friday's video. Bye! Come and watch me.